In this video, we're talking about a unit of concentration called mass volume percent. So the definition of mass volume percent is, well, it's going to be mass over volume, right, and, per, and a percent. So it's grams of solute divided by milliliters of solution times 100 percent. The symbol is either mv percent, percent m slash v, or, per, or percent w slash v, w is for weight, and you'll see both of these, so just know that they mean the same thing. Another way of thinking about mass volume percent is grams of solute divided per 100 milliliters of solution. Now here the 100 is exact, just like the 100 percent is exact. You can also think about this as a conversion factor. So let's say we have a solution that's 5.9 percent sucrose mass volume. You'll see it written like that. What that means is that there's 5.9 grams of sucrose per or for every 100 milliliters of solution. So now thinking ahead to dimensional analysis, we can write this as a conversion factor. We can say that this for, for this particular solution, 5.9 grams of sucrose is equal to 100 milliliters of solution, or there are 5.9 grams of sucrose in every 100 milliliters of solution. That's a conversion factor that lets us convert between milliliters of solution and grams of so the solute, which is sucrose. So let's do an example. Let's say you're, you're doing a chemistry experiment and you need to make up 1.25 liters of a 4.2 percent sucrose mass volume um, solution. You want to know how many grams of sucrose you need to use. So you know you're going to make a total of 1.25 liters. So you're going to end up using DI water to dilute your your final solution to 1.25 liters. But how much sucrose do you put in there? Well, it's a dimensional analysis problem, we, and what we want to know is grams of sucrose, so that's the unit of our answer. Within the problem, we have a conversion factor, and that conversion factor is given as the mass volume percent sucrose. So what we say is for, for this problem, 4.2, excuse me, 4.72 grams of sucrose is equal to 100 milliliters of solution. That lets us convert between mils of solution, grams of sucrose. So, what's our starting point? Well, how many grams of sucrose in what? In 1.25 liters of solution. So, 1.25 liters, because our conversion factor here has milliliters of solution, we need to convert the liters to milliliters. So, I, now I've shown it explicitly here, but like I, I told you guys before, um, if you're going from milliliters to liters, you move the decimal three to the left, or here, going from liters to milliliters, all we really had to do was move the decimal three to the right. But I showed it explicitly, and that's fine. And so let's make sure units cancel out for us. So here, liters of solution and liters of solution cancel. Now we're at milliliters, milliliters of solution cancel. With this, milliliters of solution, and this came from our conversion factor, which is the unit of concentration, the concentration. 4.72% mass volume percent. So what we have left are grams of sucrose, which is what we're going to try to find. And the 1,000 is exact, the 1 is exact. The 100 is exact. We have three sig figs in the 4.72, three sig figs in the 1.25. So we end up with three sig figs. Now, of course, you guys should put this in your calculator. Make sure you get the same answer. And your calculator will probably just give you 59. But because we know we need three sig figs, we put another zero, put a decimal point in the zero. So that's three sig figs, 59 grams of sucrose. 